and then you can open it easily because if you do it the other way you have to have this much extra room that okay. way yeah just yeah. it's good when you're not using it and you're sleeping on the deck um on the boat and we'll show you when we get over there one of the back seats the the seat back moves and this fits perfectly right there okay. out of way honey pot or or this is your toilet the boat you just pee just pee. Yeah, just try to pee. hold your poop so, yeah. until you get this will have This will have probably four trash bags in it Okay. with a little kitty litter in each one. Okay. So just use it to go pee. And then when you go onto shore in the morning, take that bag out and you put trash in there too, okay. which I recommend it because it yeah. kind of disguises yeah. the pee. Yeah. And just, just put, there's all kinds can. of trash cans on the pier. Okay. Big, huge green ones. So okay. Just take it with you when you call okay. the shore. That's the honey pot. I, nobody's pooped in. For you to take so you can float yeah um there's a um there's two pumps on the boat and i'll show you both okay these you just pump up and you and there's a, on each of them they're together so you just we just fasten them together like that so you just have one to hook over the boat there's a little clip all right so those will, those can all hook together and then we just take one of the dock lines and tie it on the one of them and tie mm -hmm. it to the boat because okay. they will float away yeah and they, they go super fast too okay um if you guys want you can bring some sn snorkeling stuff if you want maybe so there's yeah. i think yeah. three pairs in there two pairs something like that lauren will pull down the proper bedding and set it over here mm -hmm. but there will be um the blankets that you got Air for us mm -hmm. those are for outside okay and then a sheet and the and the blow up mattress and then on the inside you guys put a sheet down and then um, bring like a sleeping bag or something like that. You'll have no problems with the motor. The only problem you might have mechanically is running down the battery. Okay. It's not a matter of turning the engine off. You have the to make boat. sure all yeah. the buttons are off, right? So just take the key out of it. No, nope, that won't no. do it either. Oh, really? Because these will run. Oh, okay. So just you click have, them all. Yeah, you have to make sure your buttons, right? Everything is in the off position. Down. Down, 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 down. Everything, everything except two the bilge stays in the middle and the live well stays low live well okay two and four bilge and live well live well which is here yeah, and, and bilge right? yeah. yeah they're labeled it's it's yeah, two, two and four you can remember that yeah. um the electronics are hooked up to here the ray marine and the garmin so we'll we'll turn these on when we um, put, the boat, put the boat in the water, okay? But and I'll set you up with the um, GPS okay. to get there, okay? We'll go over that when we're in the water, okay? Okay, but it's very simple, very straightforward. Basically, go to the navigation, and then you type in where you want to go, and then it just, and it just gives you a menu, okay. and you just say okay, Mission. click on that, and then you follow the purple line, okay? Okay. Menu, and you put in Avalon. The only weird thing about it is it only does straight lines. Okay. Right? So if you're inside our harbor and say Avalon, it just shows you like driving. Like out, once you're land. outside of the harbor. Through the, through the, the land. jetty. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So, so when, you, when, you, when you come out, you just have to get back on okay. track. But right it, on. it's easy. Okay? Very simple. We'll do this once, you, once we're in the water. Okay. Okay? So we'll turn those back off. So which ones need to be on? Like, which ones are you alternating on and off? All like, of them, except all the two and so four. all of them turn on? And off. Okay. Well, I mean, like, when you turn the boat on, you oh, all that's those a good switches question. on? No, they're, no, all off. Okay. The only, all, yeah, the the only ones you're going to turn on are the Ray Marine and the Garmin. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a good, very good question. But when you guys are on the mooring, okay, you might need water. So we have a hose. Okay. We have raw water and, and fresh, fresh water. Okay. The fresh water, there's only about 50 gallons, so you want to use it sparingly. Okay. Mm -hmm. The raw water is a pump, so you can use it as much as you want. Okay. Uh, when you're on a mooring, you guys can use the hose, you can use the lights, you can do whatever you want. Just turn the motor on. on. Yeah. Gotcha. And you can't even hear it. Right? Yeah. It's just like, sure it's quiet. purrs like a cat. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so it's, it's very, very quiet. And then just turn it off when you're done. So okay. what we do in the morning, when we get up, we just turn it on, make sure it's working. 
And then when we go to bed, we turn it on so we can turn the lights on and get ready for bed. Okay. And you can turn all the lights on and do all that. Sometimes people yell and say, hey, turn off your light. One time, one well, guy was yeah, a dick. Whatever. Yeah. And then 10 o'clock is lights out. So you have to have your lights out by 10. It wasn't even 10 o'clock. All right. With the water, um, there's you have fresh water and raw water, right? So you just switch it. Yeah. So raw water's down here. Fresh water's up here. It's got a quick release. You just okay. pop it out, pop it in the next one, and go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So raw water obviously is unlimited because it's coming out of the, the bay. Yeah. The bay. Gotcha. Um, you clean the deck with fresh water, or no? He did raw and then fresh later. Oh, okay. Was I? Raw water, fresh water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually use I, when we're there. I usually use raw water. You want to use fresh water to just hose your body off, oh, okay. or wash your hair. Um, Which I didn't even get my hair while yeah. we were there. Dry you you, you yeah. can use it, but use it sparingly. But use I would use the raw water mostly. There's also showers, like we mm -hmm. can go to if you guys need to like okay. shampoo and all that. Really take yeah. a good shower if you want you know to. Where to yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're on the mooring, it's the tuna club. <laughs> leave the key in. Okay. Because if you guys are on shore and something happens, the harbor patrol will come by and they'll they can jump on and move your boat or okay. whatever. You know, he had to reset us once. It was just one of the lines. Okay, mm -hmm. so just leave it in there. Just leave, don't leave it on. Just, just leave it in okay. there. We leave it in the whole time. Nobody's gonna steal your boat. Kill switch, okay. right? That's right here on the side. Mm -hmm. But this will stay in the whole time, Trent, so we'll just leave it there, right? And then do you ever like want the motor lifted or anything or? No, Okay. only when we're coming back. Okay. Going and coming okay. to get it off the trailer. Okay. Um, so it stays in the water the whole time? Yep. Okay. The trim is right here, Trent. Up and down. What's that mean? What's trim? Okay, yeah, what is that? That's it's just the, the angle of the that's motor. That's the tilting of the oh, motor. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Huh. That's right. Okay, so when you're going, and, the, and we'll set this before you guys take off, but this is your trim right here. Okay, see this? Uh -huh. It's up all the way right now. With this boat, you're going to put it right in right the middle. middle. Okay. Right in the middle. Okay? All right. Um, this, is, this is your hours. And that's why our engine light is on right now. Don't worry about it. Okay. It goes on every hundred hours. That's when you have to have service. Okay. So we're having the service on the boat Monday gotcha. when you guys get back. Okay. But you want to click over here. This is this is your water temp. Do you need water temp? And it always runs right about there. All okay. Right. And it's very consistent. I wouldn't even worry about it. All okay. Right. That's all I really look at. And then this also is your tachometer, right? This boat likes to run at four thousand RPM. So that would be forty. Okay. Okay, so it's 40 times 100, it's 4,000 RPM. If it's flat, that means you're going 24 miles an hour. Okay. If it's bumpy, you're gonna go slower. You can always pull back on the throttle to just make sure you're comfortable. Okay. Okay, but if it's relatively flat, put it at 40, then your fuel consumption's right here. Okay. You'll be consuming like 7.9 gallons an hour. Okay. And then um, up here is your miles per hour. Okay. Right. And that's usually 23, right? 23, 24. Right. So, so keep it at hour. 400, you said? At 40. Oh, yeah. 40. Okay. 40. Or miles right. per hour, 23, 24. Yeah. But right. this is more important. Which one is? The, the 40? The, the tachometer. Okay. okay. Yeah. But if it's too bumpy, just lower it. S slow it down. Okay. There's no hurry yeah. to get over there. Yeah. Okay. No hurry. Gotcha. You feel her? You're not going to be anchoring, so don't mess with it okay, yeah. at all. It's fine where it is. Um, it's it's very easy boat. I mean, yeah. So from here to here is like no man's land. So you got to go like that really okay. quick. You can feel it. That's okay. That's in gear. Okay. So that's forward. Yeah. And that's your idle. Idle speed. for. Okay. So that's idling and forward. Yeah. And you'll feel it click in. Okay. okay. You don't. Opposite of Duffy. You don't want to go any slower in here forward because that's basically your clutch is not engaged. Okay. And it's going to ruin the engine. So just go from that point to that point really fast. All right, let me do it. You can feel it. Yeah. yeah right there. That's three miles an hour. Okay. So when you guys are like. 10 feet from the important life vests are under here. Okay. There's three of them. Okay. The fourth one is underneath the cushions down there. Okay. Okay. If, um, if you guys are underway and it's normal, you're fine. You don't need to have them. Uh, but you need to be able to access them easily because the coast guard may just for the heck of it come by and go, Hey, where's your life vest? Yeah. You got to demonstrate it. Right. Right. Hopefully okay. we never have batteries. Batteries. batteries right there. Green yep. supplies. Batteries. batteries. Oh. And, that's where your um, fire extinguisher is. Okay. 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 The only thing that can catch fire is the motor. Yeah. And over here, some lines. Those are dock lines. Dock lines. Okay. Well, you'll need one of them oh, when, you're when you're tying up the floats. Got it. Okay. Oh, that's right. 
Underneath here. Dock lines for float. Underneath here is the uh, fenders, right? And yeah. underneath there, we'll get into that later, okay? Is when you guys are pumping up the floats, leave the motor on. There's a cigarette lighter thing there. There's a pump underneath that you just plug in to use okay. that one to, do, to do your thing. Nice. All right? All right. What's next? Just uh. Walk gingerly. Okay, so here's the mirror for the girls, and you know, we put that up here, right? Remember, Lauren, I yeah. used to put up here? So there's a little dressing table right here? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have copies. Look, here's where I keep plates, Erica's and huge. I need to put some more forks in there. literally going to just take up all the room here. Look at here, here's cups. Look, guys, look at cups. I have cubbies. Of, I just ordered it for you. Perfect. Thank you. And here, more organized than last time. I have time. I, I ibuprofen, Carmex, scissors, and eye drops. And a couple scrunchies, and this is what I I love. Oh, yeah. what? Guys, there's wipes, wipes and trash bags. Everyone, look at trash bags and wipes are in here, so you're gonna need a trash bag every day. Yeah. Or for the honey pot, right? Yep. For the poop pot. No pea pot. Can we just use that for you trash? Don't use it, Kelly. Yeah. Spray. Oh, here is. Honey, oh. can you show them? Uh, so in one of the oh, cubbies, okay. Trent. See. Yep, this is the pump. Is, Trent, is the pump. Okay. It's a plug-in pump. Yeah. Just so use that to it. also do the thing at night. The the uh, air mattress. Air mattress for back here. Okay. The air mattress for back here is underneath there, but we'll get it out before you guys leave. Okay. Here's right. clip chip clips. Oh, these are if you guys have wet towels, you want to put them on the on the stainless <laughs> rails. Five cases of water bottles before. Can you put it here? Usually on on over there. Just go here. Daddy. And then at no, night, no. at night, when I, you guys need to use though. this to sleep. Thank you. Nick, nice. pull, pull that back seat up, so stand up, pull it up, and swing it toward you. Then you move the Yeti right there, it fits perfectly. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Okay. Oh, and so that swings yeah. open, that swings open because when you're using the swim ladder and swimming, you go up on that side and go in on yeah. here, okay? Don't worry about anything getting wet, it's a boat, it's meant to get wet, okay? Yep. It's gonna be dirty. Just hose it down all the time. So right yeah, now, especially because the air mattress, we don't want to. If uh, if we can open this, guys, right here. Under there, those ropes will come out. Don't worry about them. That's a hand pump. So you want to use that pump Where? If, if the other one does in the back in the black bag. Oh. Okay? okay. So you use that pump if the other pump fails. Okay. Okay. And that one will work on everything as well, yeah, including just... including the bed. But this other little pump works great because it it's not battery operated. You plug it in, the thing just rips. But the motor yeah. has to be on, right? Motor has to be on. Okay. The engine, I mean. Now also, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Oh. We're gonna get this out. This is very key as well. This is your oh yeah your tarp. Okay. So these things you un unroll it, right? This is gonna give you a little shade. This will give you shade. Oh. Like a little tent. This, this one goes in this side, right? Here. And then this other pole, you unroll it and goes in the other side. And then you extend these out. And then you take this back side and you fasten it up here onto, onto the top That's rail. hard though. Is there like a little latch or something? No, or there's, just there's like this. Little tie, oh, you just okay. tie it. You just tie, okay. you just tie it, see? All right, right on. And just pull it tight. Now, um, you can't have this up when you're underway. Okay. So it's only for when you're on the mower. Okay. Right. okay. Gotcha. But you're going to want Just set it up right when we get there. Maybe yeah. Maybe. That's what we usually yeah. do is set yeah. up right when we get there because what's going to happen, the sun sets on the back of the boat. Uh -huh. And once it goes past the tarp, maybe it's like... It gets hot. It's it gets super hot. hot. So Especially... You're, you're definitely going to want this on. All right. Okay. So this thing has been key. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We put the honey pot right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you take a towel and you take two of those clips and you, you clip it right here and the towel goes across. So you have a little bit of privacy. And then you just oh. sit down and then you're like, so you have a whole little powder room. The girls will sit down. For guys, <laughs> I wouldn't try to target it. Just pick it up. All right. Okay. Go in. Okay. Um, you're going to, so There's here's the dark. thing. You have to be organized with all of you are going to have a big bag. Right? So yeah. when you first get here, everything will go in. It's not going to be organized yet. Yeah. Somebody can go in and make the bed if they want to. I don't have one. Okay. At night, when you guys get back, it's possible. gonna be dark. It's gonna be dewy. It's gonna be wet. It's kind of a kind of a hassle. But you're gonna you're gonna want to take your bags and put them one here, stack it up, stack it up, because and then 
make sure nothing is open that you want to get wet because when you wake up in the morning everything's wet because we don't have a place to we don't have a closet to store all our bags, Come bags out here. everything when you're sleeping yeah yep. like, put one here 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 and here we just stack the it honeypot right here and just stack it and just close it and fold it over because it'll get all and wet. put a towel yeah. on top of it right yeah um it's a lot of like moving parts if your feet get dirty or you get dirty or whatever and there's try to keep the deck clean so you can just turn on the engine turn on the raw water and hose it down all mm -hmm. right this is what's called a um a self bailing cockpit you can get as much water as you want in here because the drain is right there okay. and it's above the water line oh, okay so don't worry about it you can be wet you can hose it down do whatever you want gotcha. okay can they store stuff in yes. there yes so um if there's not enough room in the cooler you guys can use this as a cooler bait tank oh nice cooler. okay okay but didn't water go in it or you... no it's that's all Building. Yeah. Okay, good. That's all good. It's like for storage for like things like ships. Yeah. Things like that that yeah. won't. You can like, use that for whatever you want. You yeah. Need to be yeah. Cold. Oh. Points. You can go up on the bow, right? It's very slippery in the morning. Three means one, two, three. So always hold on. That. Three points. Because I, one yeah. time I fell. And in two feet or two <laughs> feet and, and, or two. So, um. So teach one person. They can always be in charge. But you do. That's what I'm thinking. You, at night, you're going to want to keep, you're going to want to open this up to get air. There's air right here, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to lay down. And then, sorry, my dress. Really good. Yeah. You're gonna pull this down like this. This is the screen. You're gonna put it back. So leave it right here. Okay. And then you're gonna un. Okay. First, you're gonna make sure that all these are open. See how these are open right here? So everything is open. Mm -hmm. Right. See those little thingies? Yeah. So you're gonna lift it up, and the, all you have to do is turn it righty tighty. This guy right here. Okay. So, so, so righty tighty. To, to bring it down, lefty loosey. Uh -huh. Bring it down. Okay. And then close it like this. Look at these little things. See? Okay. Perfect. And then you put this thing back on. Okay. But so when it's open, you can put this thing back on so the so bugs won't come in. Yeah. So you just. Yeah. So now you know it's unlocked. That's unlocked. That's unlocked, right? And then this thing, if you want to leave it open, just tie it off. It's better to leave it open. And you don't. You don't. Yeah. You don't want to. Even at night, because it gets warm in the cabin. Just tie it off. And then when you're underway. So it's not flapping around. It's okay like that, or you can just put this down. It's behind your car. Um, or close it. Okay. Yeah. Kit. First the, aid kit. The. It's actually the middle one. So you guys can look, see what is in it. Band aids. I have most of those in there. Neosporin, nor neosporin or hydrocortisone for bug bite. Um, more eye drops. Trenty. Okay. Um, uh, tip thermometer. Um, anything like I just put a bunch of stuff in there. Water band aid. Sit. There's little scissors. Okay, you guys good? No THC I, I on DG. There? Yeah. Write this one down. Oh. Three very important channels. Notes. Your radio is up here, Trent. This turns on. Up with the with the volume with the squelch. Okay. The what? Up the top volume. Volume. Okay. Okay. Channel sixteen. Channel 16. Coast Guard emergencies only. Okay. Okay. If you hit something out there and there's a big hole in the boat, mayday, mayday, mayday. Your position will be on the Garmin. They'll say, what's your position? And you read them the longitude and latitude, and they'll come out and get you, put a life vest on. Okay. Hang out and wait. Mickey can help, right? Okay. Yeah. If it's, if it's a disaster, like bad, bad, uh -huh. like if the engine just dies, don't worry about it. There's insurance. You call CTO. Which, which one is CTO? Oh, uh, it's a phone number. Oh. Okay, we're going to give it I'll, to you. I'll have that for you. Disaster? Okay. If there's a disaster, it's channel 16 in the Coast Guard. Like right. your boat is sinking. Yeah. Now, it does take them a little while to get out there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I would just stay calm. This will not sink fast. Mm -hmm. Put your life vests on. Get the floaties out. Pump them up. And jump on the floaties. Mm -hmm. But not until this thing is... Done. Vacation. <laughs> what, what, okay, the important things is if oh, no, in fact good. that happened, it, it happened to a boat when we were out there two weeks ago. No, no I know. They ran into they ran into a debris. Rock. Oh no they way! Put a hole in their boat <gasps> that big, and they had to call a mayday. And Harbor Patrol came out and they saved the boat. Watch was for there's debris. Foam? So, huh? Was there's there's a foam point. one? Foam I'm boat? not sure. What, driving yes. sucks. Yeah, I can tell you why. You thing? cannot okay. take your eye off the yeah. the road at all yeah, yeah. Trent because yeah. if there's a, a wave coming in oh, you gotta no, make yeah, yeah. you know yeah. and when you're down there can you get probably won't need to use it right okay. um Hopefully. I actually leave it on the whole time because I like listening to it's like kind of fun to... yeah because like there's like always emergency. some if there's a concern Channel about something nine. maybe but I'll tell you how to get to the mooring 
soon. Yep. So channel nine is Harbor, Avalon Harbor Master. Okay. Channel 12 is Shore Boat. So you don't need to turn the engine on to turn this on, but just make sure you turn it off. Important. Channel 12 is Shore Boat. Yes. Shore Boat. Short taxi. So how we get from the boat. Uh, yeah, no, I know. So the channels are just right here, up or and you down. Can channels are up and down. Okay. Just go Shore Boat, Shore Boat, Dolly Girl. Okay. And they'll go Dolly Girl, over. Please pick us up on mooring number 12. Okay. And they'll be like, all, all right. right, we'll see you in 10 minutes all or right. five minutes or whatever. Right on. Okay. Shore boat's five bucks a person. Okay. Each way. Okay. Four. 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 Four plus one dollar tip. Last thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. To get a mooring. Yeah. When you guys get to the harbor, right in the middle of the harbor in front, you will see a red boat that says Harbor Patrol. If you don't see it, it'll come up to you. Just wait. Okay. Kind of make your way toward him. Wave. And he'll go, you need a mooring? You say, yes. He'll come over to you. This boat's already registered. Okay. Okay. So he'll say, okay, how many nights do you want? You say two nights. And he'll, and he'll say, okay, we'll tell you what he has. Okay. Available. Okay. <sighs> Ideally, you want 10 through 35. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ideally. Just, um, just but anywhere. take whatever you can get. And Avalon, if you can get right um, in the Herbert. He'll assign you a mooring. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll collect $42 for the night. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the money with you, you can just say, hey, you know, do you mind? We can, we're going to pay it at the office. The office is on the pier. And you can they and, take credit card or debit card, right? Yeah. What is it? Bill. And I'll show yeah. you where that is. Mm -hmm. It's like three miles an hour on this boat. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna go down a row, and you're going to find your mooring, and you're going to pull into the mooring frontwards, okay? When you're doing that, Nick, you'll go up on the bow, mm -hmm. and you got to get the, the tip of the bow next to the pole, okay? When you get next to the pole and you can reach it, and if you can't reach it, just go do it again. Don't try to don't yeah. don't fall in. Okay. okay. But if you go really slow, you just you just kind of glide up, put it in neutral. He'll pull up the pole. When you pull up the pole, you'll find a, a really thick yellow rope. It's really slimy. Just don't okay. It. The, and it, it's gonna it's gonna be a rope that's got a a loop in it. Mm -hmm. You put that loop on the front okay so you're that is nikki this is what the cleat looks like in front, uh, in front. same thing so okay basically so you just there's going to be this it. floating little okay. thing you're going to pull that up on here and you're going to while trent while is boat. yeah under so the boat. manning the... the boat there's a there's a slimy rope okay that's yeah. this that's, that's going backwards you grab that and you, you walk it back to the okay. back and then you keep pulling 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 when it gets a little right. tighter and kind of really tight, then you loop that on the back one. Here. You do them on the same side. Okay. Oh, you put it on both cleats? You yeah. To, yeah. So yellow one on the front, you walk it back, and then you do on the back. Okay? You're not going to put the yellow loop on the back, because those are designed for 30-foot boats. If you put the yellow one on, mm -hmm. you're safe. The only thing that can happen is your butt's going to swing, right? Uh-huh. So if it gets close to another boat, you just push off. But mm -hmm. what it is, is a mooring is, is one line here and one line here and your boat's in between so there's like this this anchor oh. in the front where the ball is mm -hmm. and then there's an anchor in the back where the rope is fastened to so right. after you put the yellow loop on the front mm -hmm. you grab the slimy rope and you walk it back the rope goes from the front from the front to oh, the back okay. there's a gotcha, gotcha. let's say this let's say this front right. let's say this front part here is the mooring the front mooring right and this is the back, and there's a big weight on either side. This is the, the line goes from the front to the back, and what you're doing is you're basically picking up the line, hooking in that part on your boat, and the back part on your boat. Got That's it. how it stays. You'll know, so the, because so there's a it, huge it loop. It's, so yeah. there's just like the normal Explain. mooring. The mooring pole, mm -hmm. and you're three miles an hour, just put it neutral okay. and glide in. Okay. If you miss it, put back it back up. in gear and go back around. Okay. Okay. Or back up and back up just right there, same okay. thing. Okay. Do not ever back up faster than idle. Okay. Because you'll get in trouble. When you're, so since there's four people and it's going to be full of water and full of fuel, it's going to take a while for it to get up to plane. Don't worry about it. Oh, like once. You, yeah, just okay. put it. Just put it on 40. It'll get there. Okay.